Hey everybody, it's Ritz Blues. Yes, I know I totally stole that cold intro from Chucka Conroy, but here we are, my first Let's Play, and you'll probably recognize this pretty quickly, but I decided to go with a game that is pretty familiar to me, it's nostalgic, it's fun, it's everything a good Let's Play should be, so I hope you guys will enjoy this uh, Let's Play as much as I do playing it. This is Mega Man X and I will be playing through this because I know all the levels, I know all the secrets or at least enough of them that it's enjoyable but when I first played this game I was blown away because before this I had played the Mega Man series, I wasn't very good at it I never beat any of them until probably around college this is the first Mega Man game of any kind that I was actually able to beat. This version of Mega Man has a pretty well-developed plot. Um, not necessarily the best plot in a Mega Man series, but uh, I really enjoyed it. It had some pretty memorable characters, recurring characters that you'll see many times later on in the X series. and. It really revolutionized the way that people played Mega Man. There were a few new elements to the gameplay that made it a lot more streamlined. It actually made the Mega Man series easier, even though it was more complicated the different types of maneuvers you could use. So, I'm going to try and play through this game and unlock 100% of all the pickups that are upgrades. All the heart tanks, all the energy tanks, all the, the uh, robot master weapons, and uh, and even all of the uh, upgrade capsules as well, including the secret one. So, without further ado, I give you Mega Man X. Enjoy. Alright, so the game starts off with a cold intro. We're on the highway. Oh, these cars can't hurt you. X starts off with the ability to jump, shoot his classic X Buster, which is just like the Mega Buster from Mega Man. So we can shoot pellets. Maximum of three on the screen at once, the classic Mega Man rule. But they fly off the screen pretty fast, so you could just rapid fire them. But I prefer to charge them. So, we have two different types of charges. If I do a quick charge with little blue sparks, we get the Mega Buster, just like the classic Mega Man games. Although it seems a lot smaller than those. So if we charge it a little longer, we get a blue, almost a uh, Street Fighter-esque fireball blue X Buster shot that comes out. And that's much more useful. It does take an extra half second or so to charge it up, but it's totally worth it. past the enemies. In addition to jumping, X also has the ability to... whoops! <laughs> meant to uh, go a little higher on that jump than that. Sorry about that, folks. Alright, <laughs> let's try this again. So in addition to his jump, I'll show you somewhere a little more safe than that where it's not worth risking it. X can also wall kick and wall slide like I did right there, allowing him to get extra height on his jumps and to climb walls. Now this ability to climb walls is actually one of the biggest advantages to the level design of this game. Because now we can make these huge vertical ascents in a Mega Man game that previously the only way to do was with ladders or little tedious platforms or the infamous disappearing platforms. You don't really have too much of that as an issue in Mega Man X. Ah, didn't jump in time there. Alright. Ha! Made the jump this time. I've mastered it. So I'll never die from a pit ever again. Whoa. So here we have our first mini-boss, this Hornet Chopper, and these actually make appearances in the later X games as well. Um, 
Although the way I took this one out is not very flashy compared to some of the later ways that you battle. If you take a lot of damage from that, you can drop down here and pick up a health pickup, but it's actually not worth it for me in the long run because we actually want to run out of health by the end of this, of this fight. And I'll show you why when we get there. I'm actually doing pretty lousy on this fight here. But that's okay. We'll be able to make it through just fine the rest of the way. So there's the two early mini bosses. Here you'll very likely have to do your first wall kick. Unless you have amazing jumping spacing reflexes. We have some more of these little wasp enemies. And they have a bullet that they shoot out of their abdomen that you can shoot. But I usually don't let them do that. It's pretty annoying. And a charged shot pretty easily takes them out before they can shoot you. Now we have one more enemy type in this stage. Oh, two more. I forgot about those guys. Those, really cool. those little uh, purple spike enemies with the helicopter uh, tops there are kind of like the bats from uh, from uh, the earlier Mega Man games, except uh, actually those bats do make an appearance in the X series. So Actually, those are more like those really smiling helicopter bot things that you see in early Mega Man games. Like an Iceman stage. I pimped out on my spike car here with side pipes. Only downside to riding the car, one Mega Buster shot and it's gone. Kiss that goodbye. Got those cars, and now it's time for the boss fight. There he is in mech armor there. This is Vile. Vile, I believe, used to be a Maverick Hunter, but uh, turned to... turned Maverick himself, and now he's doing his Boba Fett in mech armor impression here. Now, you can't really lose this fight, because he'll avoid you if you try and hit him, and then he'll hit you with that stun attack, initiating this cutscene. Most badass intro ever. This is Zero. Biggest badass to grace a Mega Man game ever. So Zero has a relationship with Mega Man that's pretty similar with the... I should say he has a relationship with X that's very similar to the relationship between Mega Man and Proto Man. They're allies, they're rivals, there are parts where of the game series where uh, you start to question the allegiance of Proto Man or the allegiance of Zero. Um, there's uh, certain mystique and mysterious parts of the game where you don't know what's happened to them. And they're badasses, they're red, and they always have some sort of yellow dangly thing hanging out the back. For Zero, it's his hair. For Proto Man, it's his trademark yellow scarf. In this version of Mega Man X, uh, you can't play as Zero at all. Later on in the series, you will be able to use Zero, which is awesome. So here we have our classic Mega Man X password system, which won't be necessary because I'll be safe sitting in between videos. Alright, so here we are. We have the open world screen now with all the robot masters that are available to fight in the game. And as per the, uh, the cookie cutter Mega Man system, as per the mold, we have eight of them to choose from. And each of them have weaknesses that one of the other robot masters here possesses. So, I'm not going to reveal who I'm going to fight yet, although most of you will probably guess who immediately. 
and I'll save that for a later video. So for now, I'll go ahead and sign off and say thanks for watching. This is Ritz Blues, and I'll see you.